A commitment is, is fire in the belly. It's what drives you uh, to do what you do. It, it's the, sort of that, that uh, attribute you see in, in great athletes that no matter how they get knocked down, they get up and they figure out where the goal line is and they go for it. And for those of you who worked around people that have real passion, um, it comes in lots of different uh, sort of characteristics. It's not necessarily charisma. Charisma is important and it's interesting, but it, it's that drive to reach the goal that, that I'm talking about. And, and um, committed leaders come in lots of different packages. And one of the things that I found to be most interesting, and I knew this before I came to Wake Forest, but I've seen it uh, very vividly here. Again, you go back to predicting people that have this type of fire. It isn't about the, the smartest person in the room. In fact, the correlation, um, there was a Wall Street Journal article a couple years ago that uh, talked about um, measurements that mislead. And one of, the, one of the aspects of it was talking about the, the SAT. And uh, the, the SAT, according to these researchers, predicts about 12% of the success in college. And those of you who are in statistics, um, a 12% correlation is like no correlation. You want to have something way north of 50. And why, is, why do you think that, that, uh, that SAT is such a bad predictor of success? I think it's because the most important aspects of success aren't measured by, uh, by intellectual capability. It's, it's grit. It's self-control, it's commitment to a goal, um, and it really has nothing to do with somebody's capabilities. It has to do with their internal desire. Uh, it, it's really critical to have, uh, to, to get into a job, to get into a profession that you're so excited about that you can have that kind of commitment and that you're making that decision to be in that position because it's what you want to do and then you'll have the commitment and the passion uh, to pull it off. Um, but one of the things I've, I've learned in, in, as it relates to commitment is that uh, getting back to the grit aspect, in my own personal experience, train wrecks are um, probably the best way to determine your grit. And they're probably the best way to learn and to, to develop that. Uh, and you don't think of it that way because most of us think of failures as, you know, particularly big failures as sort of terminal. And I would submit to you that particularly business failures, not character failures, but business failures are really an opportunity to learn and grow if you have the grit to turn it around. 